we're going to solve an inequality here. And in this inequality, we are going to solve for the actual inequality first. And then once we get there, we're going to take a second before we proceed and think about what we're looking at. So there's two parts of this that are not in the inequality. We're going to get rid of the 2 and the plus 14. So we'll start by rewriting it. And when in doubt, just remember PEMDAS. And you're going to go up if you're not sure uh, what to perform first. So we're going to get rid of the plus 14. So subtract 14 on both sides. And we got 4 minus 14, which is negative 10. Now we're going to get rid of the multiplication, get rid of the 2, multiply it by a half on both sides. That 2 is positive, so I do not change my inequality sign. Negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. So we've solved for the inequality or for the absolute value now. But before we take the next step, let's think about what we're really looking at. So I have something right here, absolute value, which is always going to be positive. And this positive thing is less than or equal to negative 5. So does that make sense? Can you have something positive smaller than or equal to negative 5? You cannot. So right here, we get no solution. And if you're entering this in, that's a U, don't dot your U. All right, no solution. If you're typing this on my open math, you write a DNE for solution does not exist. Let's uh, take a second here. I'm going to change this problem around to make a slightly different problem and see what's ha what would happen if, if this 5 was positive. So we're done with that original problem. But I just want to go over how to handle inequalities with absolute values. Uh, so this is a completely different problem. And I'm going to rewrite it so I change colors also. 3x minus 2, less than or equal to regular 5. So you can definitely have a positive quantity that's 5 or less. No problem there. How do we get rid of the absolute value? You're going to make a positive and a negative. So we got regular 3x minus 2 is less than or equal to 5. Or negative 3x minus 2 is less than or equal to 5. Now from here, the left inequality is pretty straightforward. Add 2, divide by 3. You're going to get an inequality there. The right side is a little bit more tricky. You may be wondering, why did I put the negative on the left? Why did I not put it on the right side? And that is important. We do need to move it to the right side. The way we accomplish that is we're going to multiply the whole inequality by negative 1. That's going to mean negative times negative. The left side is going to become positive 3x minus 2. The right side, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. But here's the important part. The uh, inequality sign is now going to change from uh, less than to greater than. And that's super important because if you just came in and wrote the negative on the right side without that negative there, you would actually get the opposite inequality that you should have. I'm not going to finish these inequalities here because all you do is add 2, divide by 3, and then you're looking at two separate inequalities. All right, hopefully this helps.